the presence of so many cabinet ministers this morning illustrates to you and the world the importance in which we, fit, we take this ceremony. And I know many people are speaking about devices and COVID, but I want to remind, to remind you that long before COVID, the party that I lead had promised that every child in St. Lucia will have had one laptop. <clears throat> it was the foresight and the philosophy of the party. The philosophy that says that there must be equal opportunity for all individuals. Every child, in spite of where they are born or where, or where they live or where their parents come from or the color of their skin, should have equal opportunity for education in the country of his birth. And this is why we took that position that because of the change in the way education was processed, because of the change where people receive their education, that technology was important, and the position of one laptop per student became a mantra of the St. Lucia Labour Party. And now it's a mantra of the government of St. Lucia in spite of COVID. I want to say that it's significant that we want to give every child, and I emphasize every child, a device. Because with a device, that child has the same opportunity as a child anywhere in the world. The same opportunity. And our children, through their parents, and the parents must emphasize that our children take advantage of that situation. And it's again, it's a philosophical shift. It's a philosophical shift that says we must bring tourism to the entire country through the community tourism project. It's a shift of philosophy. It's a mindset. It's the same philosophy that says we must pay facility fees for every child. It's a philosophy that says we must pay CXC fees. And I want to assure you that before the end of this term, we'll be paying every every CXC fee for every child in this country before the end of this parliamentary term. And also, and we continue to dream. Again, it's a philosophy that says that we will ensure or we will try within a reasonable time for every child to have an opportunity for secondary school education. And hopefully, we can get one university graduate in every household in this country. So this ceremony is small but significant. But the presence of the members of the cabinet should send a message to the people of St. Lucia and to the children of St. Lucia that we take education seriously. We do not believe that things like computers and what children need for their education should become gifts. Gifts are welcome. But we think it's a government's duty to make these things available. It's a government's duty. And this government, in spite of our fiscal constraints, will make it its duty to ensure that every child gets the requirements of what they want to live in this modern world. So I want to thank the OECS. I want to thank the Minister of Education. I want to make special mention of the Minister for Education, the Honorable Sean Edwards. I'm sure it would have been in his glory here today, but he isn't here. But, um, but using the, the technology, I think he may, be, he may be hearing. I don't know if the Minister of Education, although they have a very advanced PR machine, if his, Minister Edwards is hearing and viewing the ceremony. So I want to thank the, the teachers of, of, the, of the country, the teachers of St. Lucia. They have been in the forefront of educating our children during the COVID, the COVID pandemic. They have gone to school and they've taught our children. I want to thank them and express our appreciation for them, for the work they are doing, and for the folks at the Ministry of Education. I thank you very much, and do have a good day.